And good Thursday afternoon to you, everybody. I'm Carla Heath Sands. Thank you so much for joining us. U Ujima is the third day of Kwanzaa, and it means collective work and responsibility. Now, the overall goal, building and maintaining community and solving the community's problems together. WALB News 10's Riley Armat has more. Ujima is the third day of Kwanzaa. It means collective work and responsibility. The overall goal, building and maintaining community and solving the community's problems together. That leaves us with the, the overall principle of what we uh, can do with that. And rather than just doing something, rather than everybody struggling on their own, they decide to um, do some things collectively. Kwanzaa aligns itself with the new year, and the language is taken from the East African language of Kiswahili. The holiday began in California in 1966 and then moved all across the country. So what we do on, on the last day, which is also the first day of the year, is we've collected, uh, we've done what we've done and we've collected seeds from each day. And on January 1st, rather than making a New Year's resolution, we take those seeds that we project for ourselves by the, end, by the next year, and we plant them with faith, which is Imani. Malone is encouraging those who want to learn and observe to come out tonight. It's not just seven days, that it is a year-long uh, work. People want to sing or dance or do whatever, that's, they can do that. Ujima celebrations begin at 6 p.m. at Seed Nation in downtown Albany. Riley Armand, WALB, your hometown news source. All right, we're going to